Hi, this is Stephanie Head, photographer with Three Studios, and today we're going to talk about what color to paint a photography studio. For my studio, I chose white, and the reason I chose white is because I do a lot of portraiture, and that allows the light to bounce off my walls and give my clients a soft tone to their skin. I have a couple of color swatches that I've pulled for you to see. Now these are all examples of different colors that you can paint your studio. We have white, soft gray, dark gray, and we also have black. Again, as I mentioned before, it is important to keep in mind what kind of pictures that you are taking. Now, again, if you do choose to do black, just remember that a black studio will absorb any light, so you will not have any bounce on the subjects. And if you do choose to do white, remember that the white will allow your light to bounce off the walls, and that can oftentimes, if you're not conscious of it, cause overexposure. Overexposure is when your subject is washed out completely in your film. And again, that's something that you want to avoid because you lose all of the subject's um, tone, tonality, skin features, shirt. So again, that's something that you really want to try, try and avoid. Now, what I recommend for photographers just starting out is to do a neutral color. Neutral gray is a great starting point for a lot of studios. It doesn't reflect the light like the right white background does, and it doesn't absorb the light like the black. Um, basically, you get a lot of different functionalities from this color. So again, if you're starting out, this is a good place to start. Again, this is Stephanie, head photographer of Reese Studios in Washington, D.C., and we just talked about what color to paint your photography studio.